Hi, I'm Dalvia Singh, and today we're going to talk about the string split function in SQL Server. For today's demo, I'm using a list of movies from Amazon. So here's our table of movies, and as you can see, we've got an ID column, title, release year, and languages. Now, when dealing with external data, such as CSV files, it's not uncommon to see one single column that contains multiple conjoined values per row. If you imagine this table was a much larger table, we'd actually want these languages to be joined via a bridging table. And in order to do that, we need to be able to split up these individual languages into their own rows. So let's see how to do this. So we're going to use the string split function to help us. Do note that this is only available in SQL Server 2016 and onwards. If you are using an older version of SQL Server, then take a look at the description below this video where I have linked to a resource on sqlperformance.com that provides alternate methods for achieving the same result without using string split. So let's see how the string split function works. So here's our language string. We feed this into the string split function, which takes two arguments, text and separator. The text being the language string we have here, and the separator is essentially the delimiter, which will be a comma. And the output of this function is a table result, which contains just one column called value and all the individual elements. Now you'll see shortly why having a table result is really useful. So back in Management Studio, let's try out the string split with an example. So select value from string underscore split. And for our text, we'll take one of the language rows here. Okay. And we're going to delimit this via the comma. And let's execute this. And there we go. There's the single table with one column called value and all of the split values on their individual rows. Okay, so the next question is how can we use this in our movies table? Well, here's a query that I prepared earlier. Now, we're not going to get into the specifics of the apply operator in this video, but just interpret this as a cross join on the movies table. However, we're able to access the language column for that individual row every time we execute this string split function. And what that outputs is an individual row per language. So we see obviously here the rock appears three times. We know there's only one record of that in our movie table, but because we had a cross join on the string split table, we'll get three rows because there were three languages for the rock. And the same for the rest of the videos as well. Okay, that's the string split function in SQL Server. Now, for those of you who are running a version of SQL Server that's older than 2016, I highly recommend you check out the link to this article that's in the description below this video. It's basically a blog by Aaron Bertrand and it discusses the different methods that you can use to achieve the same results as the string split function. In addition, what I really like is that it also has some performance metrics as well, comparing each method. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like and subscribe for more SQL Server content. Thanks for watching.